Namaste and hello. Today, we'll be talking about stem cells in lesson number five. Hope you're as excited as I am. Let's get started. <clears throat> Welcome new members. Welcome to new member class number five. Today, we'll be learning about what are the stem cells. <clears throat> Stem cell is an undifferentiated cell. Simply speaking, it's an undeveloped cell. They have the capacity to differentiate themselves or develop themselves into more than 200 different types of adult cells. That means they will then attain a specific function. <clears throat> Every stem cell also has a self-replicating capability. This means that stem cells are also able to replicate or duplicate themselves. Let me show you with a graphic to explain this a little better. So stem cell is an undifferentiated cell. For example, today your kidney, your kidney cell was damaged, or maybe you had a problem in a liver cell or in a brain cell or your heart tissue had some issue. So how is your body going to repair those tissues? For this, you have to use stem cells, which will, these stem cells will then differentiate themselves in the, into the corresponding cell and go to work. So at the same time, these stem cells are also able to replicate or duplicate themselves. So how does LifeWave work? The X39. Today, LifeWave can activate our stem cell via two mechanisms. Number one, <clears throat> LifeWave can activate our dormant stem cells. Throughout our lifetime, we have a lot of stem cells. These are, some of them are not utilized until our last day. So GHK copper is able to activate these sleeping or dormant stem cells so that we can increase the total amount of active stem cells. Number two, the self-replicating process of the stem cells, it will also deteriorate with age. Basically, the efficiency of the duplication mechanism will drop over a period of time throughout our life. So X39 is able to reset the gene expression so that ultimately every stem cell that you want to duplicate, it will happen without errors, without mistakes. So every time you duplicate, there is no loss of stem cell. So this means that you always have sufficient amount of stem cells, if not more. Now, do you know the, the game of mahjong or do you play cards in this there is a figure which is generally known as the joker <clears throat> the joker you know right it can turn into any card so the joker is the stem cell in our body <laughs> so once you understand stem, stem cells you have to understand what is regenerative medicine? Because this is what is going to be the big topic for the years to come. In the first class, we talked about the three pillars of health. Do you remember? And the most, for most people, disregard the degeneration of the internal organs. So if you talk about the common problems that we're seeing today, like osteoarthritis, liver failure, kidney damage, heart attack, muscle degeneration, diabetes, and so many more. Isn't it that these diseases are caused by degeneration? And specifically degeneration of cells? So regenerative medicine does what? It is to address all kinds of degenerative diseases.
So just want to give you a perspective. Maybe 40 years ago, you heard about someone had a fever, cough, a flu, or a pain. <clears throat> so you go to the pharmacy, you get ibuprofen, diphen, hydratamine, paracetamol, aspirin, or even steroids. These are all medication. <clears throat> and they are drug-based. But the common problems that we're looking at these days are very, very different. Look at dementia, weakness in the heart, arthritis, maybe multiple sclerosis, and other conditions. So if you go and talk to the doctor, they might answer something like this. I don't have a drug that can cure the problem. I cannot really cure it, but I can give you some medication that can slow down the deterioration. Isn't it like that? So is it possible to try and grow back nerve cells to cure dementia? Is it possible that you try to restore cardiomyocytes so that the cardiac muscles become stronger? <clears throat> Is it possible to regenerate more chondrocyte cells so that the, these helps to build the, rebuild the cartilage? Or what about regenerating the glial cells? These glial cells can help to protect the neurons to avoid MS. All of this, the field of medicine that uses these methods to cure the degenerative condition is known as regenerative medicine. And what we're seeing right now is a shift from medication, from a medication-based medicine to a regenerative-based medicine. <clears throat> this is what is so exciting and you need to understand. Now here's the issue. If all kinds of problem, you have to spend money and time to understand each and every different type of cell, it will take a lot of time and it will be extremely expensive. Or just understand one thing, all kinds of adult cells, they all are originating from one place, which is the stem cells. So this is why stem cell is the fundamental uh, is the fundamental tool in the regenerative medicine. So if you look at the number of publications from more than 20 years, so many publications about or relating to stem cell is skyrocketing. Now, suppose you want to increase the stem cells. Yeah, you realize degeneration of organ function is getting very serious. So in order to solve this, you have to go into regenerative medicine. <clears throat> when you talk about regenerative medicine, you talk about stem cells. So now how to increase these stem cells? This is the question, right? So in this slide, we're not talking about legality because some methods or treatments pertaining to stem cells are legal in one country, but are not legal in other countries. So here we're just showing you the different options that are out there in the market. So when you talk about stem cell treatment, you can broadly categorize into two. One is your own stem cells. And the second is foreign stem cells. Foreign means from a donor. When you look at foreign stem cells, you talk about stem cell transplant or you can you hear sometimes from people, ah, I found a donor, I can get their stem cells. Yeah. And they are suitable, found suitable for me. That is foreign stem cell transplantation. You might have heard even that people talk about taking placenta from animals or, or uh, stem cells from plants to enhance their own stem cells. So these 
both fall under the foreign uh, donor category. Now, talking about your own stem cells, here there are also two types. One is you can also get your own stem cells concentrated and then they are injected back into your own body. Later, I'll give you the medical terminology also for all these different processes. And then the second option in own stem cell is using phototherapy, which is LifeWave's system. These are the prices that we see. That means about uh, 80, 100 euro a month for phototherapy, animal, uh, around 800 euro a month and a transplant about 20,000 euro. Now let's talk about suitability. Which is the best form of stem cell that you should get? Is it your own stem cell or is it a foreign stem cell? It's your own one. There are so many different type, type of methods. Do you want to consume a supplement or do you want to get something uh, go to or you want to go to a hospital to receive a transplant or do you want to get an injection or do you just want to put a patch on your neck or even you can keep it on your clothing it still works phototherapy is safest right when you talk about sustainability you have to understand that you know age reversal or simply to reverse the aging of the organ function is not an overnight job it takes time. It's just like you want to make a big building. No matter how good the cement is, every time you pour cement, it takes a, a, some number of hours for the concrete to set, right? The same thing is in the regenerative function. So how can you make sure that you can continuously re regenerate or reverse the aging of your organ function? in a sustainable way in terms of the financial aspect. Phototherapy is absolutely the cheapest way. Number four, win-win. LifeWave offers our products in a direct sales model. So if people see benefits, people see the results, you can share the story with other people. And so this helps you to get young and also you can uh, discount your own product by spreading the word to other people if you're interested. Or even have the patches for free later down the line. So if you want to pass this information to a medical professional or to your own doctor, let me just give you the medical terminology of what we've been looking at in this session. If you want to talk about phototherapy, Please use the photo, the word photobiomodulation. That is the official terminology. When you use your own stem cells and extract it out, this is the whole proce process of autologous stem cell transplantation. You have to go to the hospital, extract the stem cells. And, but before that, the doctor have to prescribe certain drugs to activate and force your body to generate more stem cells. Then the stem cells are harvested from your body. These stem cells are then stored, frozen, and, and next is the very critical part that people should know about. You have to undergo a chemotherapy first. Only then, when your immune system is weak, the stem cells can be re-injected back into your system. So I can't really make a specific statement about this, but just think about to get younger because you want to get healthier and you want to, you just want to undergo chemotherapy for that. Just think about it. Then we have allogeneic which is when you use human, but human stem cells, but from another human. 
Now coming to the fourth category, xenogenic means you use stem cells from another living being, from another species. That is xenogenic. I hope you learned something from today's session. And with this knowledge, I hope also you're able to understand that you have made the best decision in your life. We can definitely age gracefully, live long and live well. And also with the right and having the right knowledge and the right way of communicating to people. Thank you so much. In the next session, we'll be looking at different stages of the body recovery after using the X39. See you for the next session. Thank you for staying tuned. And uh, this was the meatiest session so far, probably. Hope you enjoyed the content, the amazing content about the uh, amazing uh, functionality of our stem cells and the different ways in which it can be approached. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video and are looking forward to the next piece of content, let me know that you've watched this and I'll send you the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.